My name is Sarah Hayes from MIT in Boston, in the United okay. States. And we are the University Challenge GSMA Mobile Health Winners. We came here to compete. Um, we have an infant hearing screening solution, and we wanted to see if we could win the health challenge and get some funding for our project. Uh, so our project, Sana Audio Pulse, was on infant hearing screening. We're piloting it in Brazil, and we're trying to screen infants that are in more rural and poor communities where there isn't the traditional access. You can have very, very long wait lines at public clinics, or at private clinics, it's very expensive to screen babies, and so often mothers and their infants should go back home rather than being screened or you know, coming back after a 12-day wait to be screened at a public clinic. And so we're trying to empower community health care workers to do the hearing exam, have that information transmitted to a remote audiologist who can review it, analyze it, and send information as to whether the baby has no hearing loss and passes, or has some amount of hearing loss and needs to be fitted for a hearing device to the health care worker, to the mother, and they families from having to experience permanent disability from hearing loss. So we should... I think the important thing about mobile health is that it's broadening access, so there's a lot of technology that's being created on the academic side, which is sort of hard to distribute in a lot of ways. So mobile health is a good way of making the reach a little bit more broad. Don't make for easy enough targets and then endanger those using them is a good way of policy. 